Alrighty guys, uploading video right now, just finished it up and stuff, and totally check this out. First, homemade pizza, should be pretty good. I think this whole YouTube channel out is just gonna be about cooking, because it's literally the only good entertainment I can bring right now. Currently finishing up a work block right now. I wanted to show you guys something pretty cool for at least my agency owners and stuff who watched this video. Currently right now, I am testing two types of intro messages for reaching out on LinkedIn. I do all of my agency outreach on LinkedIn and that's just because the type of niche I'm going after, I'm going after fashion brand, clothing brand owners and it's very hard to find these types of people on Facebook and other types of like social media platforms. So right now, in my process, I'm currently testing two different intro messages. And let me show you guys some cool. So I'm not gonna go completely into everything, but right here, I have a Google document open and it's just my two messages. I'm not gonna show it to you guys because I don't want anyone stealing it right now, but come on guys, it's easy. Create two types of intro messages and you test them. And But the sheet I have is pretty cool that I created to actually track those numbers. So I just created a simple Google Sheets document. Uh, we got message A right there. And then also I got message B right there. And every day I send them out, I log them. And then as I get those messages back, I mark it as a response. And me and Max are both on that. Max is my sales rep for the agency. Um, and then basically just have message A, message B, and then they're all tied in right there. And then just over time, I log it every time one sent, and as well as the response rate, etc. You as an agency owner, or if you're doing any type of sales, you need to understand and know your numbers, and you cannot do that without actually physically tracking it. You can't just have an estimate in your head, hey, I think about 2% of people reply back to my intro message, or 30% of people reply back to my intro message. You need to understand your numbers so that way you can actually test different variables. Um, both my intro messages are completely different so that way I know, hey, am I maximizing my time with the best calibrated intro message? And what I'll do is also I'll test different variables of different, um, <clears throat> different follow-up messages, etc. in terms of all that as well. So I'm gonna keep come there and working on these few things the sales process and finishing up I just need to actually go through my recent LinkedIn connections and scout any potential hot prospects I guess you could say and from there work on a few other things inside the agency alrighty guys I didn't really know how I want to finish up this video to be honest I didn't really record much yesterday I wanted to, I guess, title this video something related to how I'm holding up with this quarantine right now. It's uh, officially been a whole kind of week now since being in this quarantine. How have I been doing? How my mental health is? Because that's all very critical. I know your mental health, your mindset is critical in terms of longer term success and stuff. And I think for me, with this whole quarantine thing, it really hasn't had any major effects yet. Yes, I miss my friends. Yes, I miss going out to be able to go to a restaurant, go to have beer downtown. I think the biggest thing for me is I've been able to keep myself busy on a day-to-day -day basis with things that I love doing. So for me, I start running. I've never been a runner, but I enjoy exercise in general. So just going for a run in the morning, boxing after, focusing on my online business and stuff, reading books I enjoy, talking to my girlfriend on the phone, actually going to hang out with my girlfriend here and there. Cooking is something that I love food in general and cooking is something I've always wanted to get better at. So I think I've just been filling up my day-to-day -day activities uh, full of stuff I love to do. Now something I am... I guess you could say struggling with is motivation and stuff. I think this whole work at home now has been a twist to my current regimen. And I know like working out in terms of like weightlifting, you know, I go by run in the morning, but in the afternoon I do like my weightlifting. I know my motivation has been little, very low on that. And actually my work blocks, my first, I can, I can nail out my first four hour work block with no issues at all. And I think my second one later through the day actually kind of 
dives, takes a nose dive down. So I know next week that's all things that I'm gonna be taking an account for to really kind of like optimize my schedule as much as possible because I know that greater longer term success, how optimized my schedule is now, how well it's put together, how well I stick to it and stuff. So I think that's something that has been taking effect for me where a lot of people right now are stuck at. They're just watching Netflix, they're just watching YouTube. They're not finding things to be productive uh, with their time. And that's really where this quarantine's hitting them negatively and impacting them. And if I had to any advice to you guys is start to craft and put together a schedule for your day to day. Even though you're at home and stuff, if you do not have a schedule, uh, a schedule is gonna keep you moving, it's gonna keep you completing things throughout the day, it's gonna properly stimulate your mindset, uh, your brain. Uh, your brain needs to have some type of mental stimulation to get you through the day. And the activities you choose need to be things that's going to actually put a little bit of challenge to you. Uh, something that you can kind of focus on for a period of time and something that gives you a sense of accomplishment once finished. So for me, it's working out. For me, it's reading a book. For me, it's working on my business online. For you, it could be you could still do probably some workouts at home. You can easily read a book. Actually read books that elevate your life. So let's say, I don't know, beginning of this year, I read a bunch of relationship books just to become a better partner. Boom. There you go. Um, read books that's going to affect your life, whether it's maybe getting better with your money, maybe it's getting better mental mindset. Everyone at home right now, maybe are going to school, you should be able to double down on your school activities, become a better student, become smarter, etc. <laughs> if you are not going to school at all, maybe you just work a regular job and you're looking to advance your career, right now could be a great time to kind of rethink your career, career in the future, maybe create like a LinkedIn, uh, start establishing connections and stuff that can further help you along your career. Maybe you're not happy with what you're doing right now. Right now would be a great time to maybe research some online businesses, etc. that you can do. I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, my goal is to post daily videos except Sunday. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>